Welcome to the video on Max Volume. Max Volume is an all-in-one dynamics processor. What this means is that you've got low-level compression, high-level gating, and leveler all-in-one. Very useful in a lot of different ways. I'm going to jump straight into a few ways you can get use out of it and explain how I'm using it as I go. Here we have an 808 kick drum. And this tip comes from Joe A, producer and musician. The leveler helps you set the overall dynamics of the 808. You get power and roundness with the high-level compression, while the low-level compression brings up some precision, details, and richness. With the gate, depending on the song and the 808, it can define its size, length, and dimension in the mix. Here we have an electric acoustic riff. It's got no EQ and no compression on it, but I've added max volume to the track. Let's go and bring up some of those ghost notes by activating the low level. The level of the gain overall is coming up. So using the gain on the high level, let's bring it down again. The low-level compression area gives me two faders, but why does it help me with this guitar? Let's have a look. Threshold sets the threshold under which low-level compression starts, and the gain fader sets the amount of gain applied to the compressed part of the signal. With a low-level compressor, any signal that goes below the set threshold gets compressed upwards, resulting in increased gain. The dynamic range is therefore compressed, which pushes your low levels up while leaving high levels as they were. The high level section is the normal type of compression that only compresses peaks. Here it's working like a one knob compressor, similar to Renaissance Fox, with a fixed ratio and auto makeup gain. You can really push the low level and high level sections of this plugin and still keep the signal really transparent. This button changes the arc release time between loud and soft. Loud is a shorter and more aggressive release that gives you a louder output signal whereas soft gives you a longer release time, so you have a softer output signal. So you now know what all the sections of max volume do and how to use them. You've seen what it can do on an 808, and you've seen what it can do with a really dynamic guitar. But what about a vocal? This is a vocal I recorded with the inimitable Miss Christy London. She's got an amazing voice, and I want everything heard. There's a lot of dynamics here, so let's bring in max volume. Have a listen with the plugin Bypassed. Bringing in the plug-in, I'm using the low-level area and the high-level area. You'll notice I'm pushing the threshold on both to the extreme, and I'm utilizing gain control as well. I'm not using the gate, and I'm not using the leveler. It nearly sounds like I mic'd it better than I really did. Controlling different sources of audio in a live environment can be really tricky. You don't know how they were mixed, you don't know how loud they are. Here are three different signals with varying levels from soft to loud. Have a listen without the plugin active.
that's pretty much a nightmare. Let's get rid of our VU clip alerts and bring in the plugin. As you'll see, I'm only using the leveler here. So there you go. That's a few ways that you can use Waves Max Volume.